You guys always ask me about vitamin D. Vitamin D, vitamin D, vitamin D. You wanna know, does it help the immune system? What can it do? What doesn't it do? Should you take it? Should you not? So for that reason, I'm actually really excited to be able to come to you with some information about vitamin D and how it may relate to COVID-19. This is a new study that was just released. Now, as excited as I am to tell you this information, because I know you're interested in vitamin D, I also have to be very cautious because this study was what we call an observational study. That means it does not prove cause and effect. That means the results of the study are not 200,000 million percent definite means we need further research and further studying, but there may be some link here. So let me jump right in and tell you, okay? Researchers wanted to understand how vitamin D may relate to COVID-19 illness. Researchers looked at data from a number of patients from different countries. Um, and what they found was that vitamin D deficiency may actually be a contributing factor to severe COVID-19 infection. That's interesting, isn't it? And sort of on the flip side, vitamin D itself may lower inflammation or the body's inflammatory response uh, and possibly lower the severity of COVID-19 infection in patients. Now, again, very interesting results, but this does not prove cause and effect, which means we have to learn more to say that this is definitely the case. But I wanted to tell you this because we're learning more and more about COVID-19 every day. And this learning is so important because COVID-19 is a disease that we've just never really seen before. So along those lines, let me give you a little information about vitamin D. Now, I'm sure you understand how important vitamin D is, right? You know, probably, that vitamin D is important for strong bones. Vitamin D actually helps us absorb calcium, but it also plays a role in other systems in our body as well. The nervous system, obviously our bones, but also the immune system. Yeah, so if you didn't know that, there you go. Very, very important. Now, where do you get vitamin D from, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, first thing is our diet. You might not know some of the foods that give us a good amount of vitamin D. Those are things like fatty fishes, salmon, mackerel, even tuna. Those fish have a really good amount of vitamin D in them. Also, cheese. Mm, I didn't know that actually. Cheese and mushrooms. Did you know? Let me know in the comments if you knew that mushrooms had a good amount of vitamin D because I didn't know that. Uh, but mushrooms apparently. And egg yolks. Um, you can also go to fortified foods. Uh, that's fortified cereals, uh, milk. You can go to other dairy products like yogurt. Orange juice actually has vitamin D in it and soy drinks as well. Um, so I hope that's that's helpful. Now, of course, you can also get vitamin D from a supplement. Before you take any supplements, don't go to the CVS or the GNC or whatever or Amazon and don't order out all the vitamin D thinking it's gonna cure, prevent, whatever coronavirus. Remember, I told you this was an observational study. It's not definitive. We're still learning, but there may be a link. So it's not time to do that, but um, if you're concerned about your vitamin D levels and you're not sure if they're up to snuff, you can get your vitamin D levels checked by your doctor. Make sure that you run any supplement that you take by your doctor. But yes, vitamin D does come in supplement form. Keep that in mind. And the last way that we get vitamin D, um, the major way rather, is the sun. Yes, it's cheap, it's free, it's easy, but... You know, I always got the caveats, y'all. Just trying to keep you safe. Um, but you know, sun is not necessarily all that benign, which means that we know that sun causes premature signs of aging. Sun also causes skin damage, which can lead to skin cancer. So we definitely want you to stay safe. This is very important. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Please share this video. Um, and if you're interested in sending stars, I will answer your questions first. Although I do my best to answer all the questions I can. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Thanks so much for joining me.